Whether you're planning out your golf simulator and looking to the Vanish series, or you've already purchased a Vanish series for your space, it's important to understand the various different bracket orientations available to you and how you'll leverage those depending on what your space has to offer. Before we look at that though, let's consider the ceiling panel and why it's important to understand before determining the brackets you'll need. For the Vanish 11 and Vanish 16, the ceiling panel is located 100 inches from the hitting surface. This means that the brackets that are utilized will need to extend down or reach off, depending on wall or ceiling mount, at a point of 100 inches so that your ceiling panel can be mounted there as well, as it's fixed. The ceiling panel then leverages a strip of Velcro which runs left and right from the golfer's perspective to attach the front baffle, which then reaches down to the impact screen and touches a similar Velcro strip, again, running left to right. This front baffle protects all the head roll tube and hardware that's hidden behind it and closes the gap between the ceiling panel and the front impact screen. With that understanding, let's take a look at the different bracket types. Looking first at ceiling mount one. Ceiling mount one utilizes joists running front to back from the golfer's perspective. You can see there are mounting tabs here and another set here. These will then anchor themselves to two separate joists and you can adjust these wherever you need to to ensure they reach those joists. Here, it would mount as a SLC1, which can be seen in the manual. Next, in the front left corner, we have the FLC1. Turning it around, we have the FRC1. And finally, we have SRC1. It's important to note that there are channels along this and you can adjust the uh, 24 inch piece or the 11 and a half inch piece along one another to be able to reach that ideal height or width depending on which way you're mounting the system and where you need to reach down to. Next, let's look at ceiling mount two. Similar to ceiling mount one, this will utilize the ceiling to mount your system except now the joist will be running from left to right from the golfer's perspective. So utilizing mounting tabs here and here to catch a joist and another one. In the manual, you will see SLC2, FLC2, turning it around, FRC2, and finally, SRC2. Again, you can utilize the channels to adjust the bracket to reach that 100 inch mark or 112 if you have the 16H. These also will have the black angle brackets mounted to them and those codes that I gave before uh, relate to an orientation of those brackets which you'll utilize when mounting your side and front head roll tubes. Next, let's look at wall mounts. You'll see that these are both roughly the same. In fact, they are precisely the same, though this will demonstrate the back wall mount. Back wall mount can only be leveraged on the back wall, of course, and therefore must be accompanied by either a ceiling mount or a side wall mount, which we'll get into in a second. This back wall mount will leverage the mounting tabs to attach itself to two studs, again, moving those mounting tabs to ensure you're catching the studs. This here would be considered FLW1. And then this position would be considered FRW1. Finally, let's take a look at the side wall mount options. And this is actually being shown in this unit that we're talking within. It leverages the side mounts when available to mount the enclosure. Here, 
we have SLW, then we have FLW2, turning it around, we've got FRW2, and finally SRW. It's important to note that although you can select among these configurations, you're not limited to all four being that type. You can mix and match depending on your space. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. We'd be more than happy to assist you or check out our installation manual found on the website, which has QR codes, diagrams, and videos to assist you with your installation. Thank you for choosing the sports screen for your golfing needs.